we've got an interesting shoot today and because of that we're gonna learn how to shoot this we're gonna shoot fruits not your ordinary kind of fruit don't throw you crazy not your ordi <laughs> ouch <laughs> not your ordinary kind of fruits this is what we're gonna shoot today the client was recommended to us by way of Camellia Young. Thank you so much for recommending this client to us. And we got an email from the client Nicholas and this is what he wants us to do. Shoot the durian and he's going to put the photo in his product box and we're going to shoot exactly this photo. And like all shoots, the part that you don't normally see. Painful, right? Hold this. Yeah, bro. Yeah? Now, now you know why you're doing this? Yeah, I know. <laughs> because it's painful. Don't, don't forget, yeah? One more thing I realized. Don't hold this. Because this is going to snap off and then we're going to have a durian with no head. No. Mm -hmm. You snapped that off already. No. He wants to shine. Okay, we're going to shine. No, this is going to shine. No, this is going to shine. Why? Species is huh? huh, different. Ah? This is Mao Shan Wang. This is 24D. This is. Oh, this and this is different. How do you guys know? You know? The tone is Wow, I just learned something new today. Look at the tone. This has got fatter tone and this has got thinner and very spiky tone. This is called Mao Shan Wang. This one? D24. D24. We don't care. We're gonna shoot this and you no, you guys gonna eat this. I don't eat durian. Do you eat durian? So eating your eat chilo? Mm. Puran chika chika fang. Tansu sandi chiang pai sandi yo. Lian di palio. Pukwan tala. Here's the dilemma that we have. The shoot brief that we have has three durian. And we only have two similar durians. Hey, wait. Ouch! Oh, shit. In the meantime, while Billy is setting up, we're going to learn to use the light meter. One of the easiest ways to shoot with all these studio lights is to use a light meter. My favorite is a Sikonic and it's one of the cheapest in the market. That comes to like a thousand ringgit. And what I'm going to do is that since we need a wide background, the first thing that I need to do would be to punch in my ISO. And when we're using so much of studio lights, I'm going to use the standard of ISO 200. Okay, press on this button and choose 200. And since I want a background to be bright, what I do, I make sure that I use a lower shutter speed, say 1 over 125 or 1 over 60. I'm on a tripod so I can shoot at 1 over 60, that's fine. And what I have here is a Proctor Comtor cable they call this the pc cable proctor comtor are the inventors of this cable they're two good uh, two, two dudes uh, one of the name is proctor the other guy is comtor so what happened is that you connect this and this tether all the way to another flash that i have out there so when i do this i make sure that my flash is on a commander mode by changing the mode button and by doing this, I go to C, and when I press this, notice this, flash goes off. I don't need my assistant to hold my flashes for me anymore. So what I need to do now is to check. It's 5.6. I'll discuss more about where you position this. That's a very good one. Uh, Mervin, what I need you to do is remove this. All right, we can now decide. Look at this. There is a speck of dust there. There are two things we can do. If we see it, physically remove it or if that proves tough you want to you want to lick my fingers no, no, we're not going to have any reflection so it's fine always look at the brief and see whether you need reflection at the front if you need reflection at the front then you need more space here otherwise what you just need to do is if it is shadow what That's you fine. do, Mervin, move this light to six feet away. We don't want the light so near. And I can use an umbrella because in this world, there are three types of product. The first one is called the absorbable product. Absorbable products are things like durians, 
your shoe, your clothing, all these products absorb light to a certain amount. So they don't really reflect back light. And example, look at the durian, it'll absorb light. So when I have absorbable product, what I need to do is I can use a large light source like the umbrella or the softbox. Now using the umbrella is wonderful because it gives you a very large coverage. Large coverage give you softer light. We need soft light because the shadow on the shoot brief is not that strong. And then we realize that we have a highlight on the durian. And how are we going to do this? How you deal with highlights is, if you look at the durian, you need highlight. It needs to come from very simple. One of the best ways to do is to do a light source tracing. It's actually a reflection. Now what I do is I stand at the angle where the camera is and then I move my hand and see when I block the light. And I notice that at this juncture when I block the light, Mervin, do me a favor, off the lights behind me. The first one, yep, turn off the other one. Good. Now turn back on this one. I can see a reflection from this light. So what I need to do is I need to put this flash on a smaller umbrella. Why we need a smaller umbrella? We do not want it to be too big. At an angle where this light is, at this angle. No, right. And like I always tell my students, instead of bringing your tripod out for holidays and lugging it around, one of the best use for tripod is to put it in the studio, especially for product shoot, where you don't have to worry about the camera anymore. And we're going to have the main light which is on umbrella. Right. Mervin, what we do is that we bring this light over that side. Let's learn how to light this up now. What are you doing? You're not going to go back. You're going to go back. <笑>我们拍完了嘞！哎呦